In today's video, we are doing a narrated walking tour of Waikiki from one end to the other. To my left is the Ala Moana Shopping Center, and then just behind me is the Waikiki Yacht Club. We're gonna go ahead and start over here at the Waikiki Prince Hotel. The area that we're at right now is the Alawai Bridge, and this entire walk will be done in real time, so that way you guys can see what the distance is between different hotels, what's in the area, and it's about 6.30 in the morning right now. So still pretty early. We chose to do the walk at this time just so there'd be a lot less people out on the street and also because it's incredibly hot. At the time of this filming, it is the very end of March. Again, around 6.15, 6.30 in the morning. You can also see quite a few runners out as well. This main street to my left-hand side is Ala Moana Boulevard. And then again, to my right-hand side is the Waikiki Prince Hotel. If you haven't been to this hotel before, we have a full walkthrough of the Waikiki Prince Hotel that we'll put in the links below for the description box. I'll also put some in the cards above. To our right over here is Alawai Harbor. If you have any snorkeling tours, some other boat cruises, some will pick up here at Alawai Yacht Harbor to the right hand side. Others will pick up at Koala Basin Harbor, which from here is about four miles away or they'll pick up at the main harbor that's in downtown. So if you were doing the Star of Honolulu dinner cruise um, or any of the larger cruise ships, it would be at the downtown harbor typically. And then Koala Basin Harbor is another commercial harbor as well. So to my right is Prince Waikiki Hotel. On the left-hand side over here, this street right beside us is Ala Moana Boulevard. Prince Waikiki is a super gorgeous property. We're on the Ala Moana Boulevard side and the entrance point is actually on the other side, the harbor side. If you have a tour or activity pickup at the Prince Waikiki Hotel, you might wanna check out our other video, 15 most common Waikiki pickup locations for tours and activities. So as you can see to the right-hand side, this is the Prince Waikiki. And this is their Alamoana Boulevard entrance. So their valet entrance is on the opposite side. Still super early in the morning, not very hot. As I mentioned, it's the end of March, so it is quite a bit busier. It's the tail end of our spring break, so still pretty crowded. Another reason, like I said, that we chose to do this walk early in the morning, just so you can see a little bit more and it's less crowded here on the street. Shout out to Brittany for getting up early <laughs> and filming this with me. The street coming up ahead is the intersection of Ala Moana Boulevard and Hobron. At our 10 o'clock is Discovery Bay Center. There is an enterprise location at Discovery Bay. So if you're planning on renting a car in Waikiki and you're looking for an enterprise, across from the McDonald's over here as well, across the street is an ABC store. If you haven't been to an ABC store before, it's a super common sundry store that has everything that you could possibly need, similar to a Target 7-Eleven all blended together. And again, just right across the street over here is the ABC store. We're still on the far end of Waikiki. Again, we started at the Prince Waikiki Hotel. To my right was the Outback Steakhouse. It is now closed. And then coming up here on the right is the Red Lobster. We're on the intersection of Ala Moana Boulevard and Hobron. Just at our one o'clock over here is the Modern Honolulu Hotel. We've also done a full walkthrough of this specific hotel, Modern Honolulu. And just to my right over here, again, is the Alawa Yacht Harbor that we were talking about earlier. Modern Honolulu is super gorgeous. They also have a pool bar that you can go to. They also have a separate pool and an adults only pool. And then again, just diagonal from us is the Discovery Bay Center where the Enterprise is, McDonald's over here, and then ABC as well on the opposite side of the street. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and continue with our walk. Still on Ala Moana Boulevard. The hotels coming up here in front of us, we have the Ilikai to our right-hand side, and then directly in front of us is the beginning of the Hilton Village property. The Hilton Village is an oceanfront, beachfront property and is huge. We'll do a separate walkthrough specifically for that hotel. And then again, just to the right-hand side, this building over here that's um, in turquoise and green and white is the Ilikai Hotel. 
So still on Alamona Boulevard, just across the street from us. Um, Discovery Base Center that we mentioned earlier, a few smaller restaurants, another restaurant over here, Tropics. Keep in mind, there's two Tropics locations. There's this one, which is right across the street from us here on Alamona Boulevard. And there's a second Tropics at the Hilton Hawaiian Village, um, which is oceanfront right by their Atlantis submarine ride. We're here at the city bus stop. Some of the routes, 320, 23, 42. So the hotel to my right hand side is the Ilikai Hotel. And then this area where these people are waiting is a very popular pickup location for the Ilikai Hotel. And then just above are three main flagpoles. So if you have a pickup for Ilikai Hotel for Alamoana Boulevard, this is typically where you'll be waiting. A lot of tours and activities pick up here, especially for early morning Pearl Harbor tours, island tours, dinner cruises, luau's and so forth. Ilikai has a really nice restaurant there called Cinnamon's, super good for brunch. And coming up here is the beginning of the Hilton Village. So the route we're gonna take for this walk, we're gonna go down this main street here. We're gonna take a right over by the Hilton Village, and then we're gonna go up Luer Street and then continue on Kalakaua Avenue. So to my right, we'll see signage here for the Grand Waikikian and Lagoon Tower. If you're here on a Friday night, on Fridays, the Hilton Hawaiian Village shoots off fireworks at 7.45 p.m. In the summertime, it's a bit later, eight o'clock. You can check out our video in the link description below on the best place to catch the fireworks show. You can see them from the shoreline. Hilton Village is the best spot. You can also check them out if you're doing a Friday night dinner cruise or night cruise on one of the catamarans as well. If you're interested in that, I will leave a link in the description box below. So still here on Alamona Boulevard, just across the street from us. Over here is IHOP. Really good chocolate chip pancakes. And then to my right hand side over here is ABC once again. <laughs> They're everywhere. Just play a game on how many ABC stores we can count. And then just here to the right hand side is Goofy's, a super tasty cafe. If you haven't tried Goofy's, definitely check it out. So again, still here on Alamana Boulevard. And I hop directly across the street from us. The hotel over there is the Aqua Palms, just right across the street from us that's attached to the I hop. Here is a smaller rental car place to our right. And then coming up ahead is the intersection of Alamana Boulevard and Kalia Road. If you're up super early, if you're on the East Coast hours and you're hungry, IHOP is open. And then to my right hand side over here is the Hilton Hawaiian Village. The intersection coming up is the intersection of Alamona Boulevard. To my left would be Enna Road. And then to my right, which is the street we're going to be walking down, is Kalia Road. So here to my right hand side is the Hilton Hawaiian Village huge property. There's also a Starbucks inside as well, along with quite a few other restaurants. We have lots of different shops. And the street we're turning down is Kalia Road. For Hilton Hawaiian Village, they do have quite a few activities on their property. There is a man-made saltwater lagoon. And while you're there, you can also rent stand-up paddle boards, kayaks. The man-made saltwater lagoon is of course not connected to the ocean, but a great spot if you're traveling with little ones or anybody who's not a very strong swimmer. It's not very deep and it's not connected to the ocean. So it's very calm water, almost like a lake. Great option for those traveling with kiddos or again, if you are not a strong swimmer and still wanna get out into the water. So Hilton Hawaiian Village over here, super gorgeous. So 
So we'll cut through right over here and I'll point out that Starbucks that I just mentioned earlier. And then we'll show you guys a little bit of a sneak peek of what the Hilton Village looks like over here at their map, right over here. So as you can see, huge property. We are here. The Starbucks I mentioned is here. This is the lagoon area that I mentioned. This is Port Hilton. So if you're doing any snorkel cruises or sunset cruises, it would be located here. There's also a second Starbucks and we'll do a full walkthrough of this specific property. You can check that out in our hotel series. So we're going to continue walking down Kalia Road. And over here is the main entrance point for Hilton Hawaiian Village again here on Kalia Road, just to our right hand side. For those of you that asked if it gets really busy in the morning, it does, as you can tell. It's a lot of different tours and pickups. Right now it's about 6.50 in the morning. And then coming up ahead of here are some other tour buses. Hilton Hawaiian Village has a few different pickup locations for their tours and activities. So if your pickup is here at the Hilton Hawaiian Village, make sure to double check which pickup location that you're going to. The property to my right hand side is the Grand Islander. So this area over here, if you're getting picked up at the Grand Islander bus depot on Kalia Road, this is it. There's also a second pickup location. I'm just going to show you guys really quickly while we're here in the area. So there's also a second pickup location, the Hilton Hawaiian Village bus terminal, which is just right down here. So two different pickup locations, either in here or out here. So if your pickup says Hilton Village, these are two pickup locations, but there's also a few others on the inside as well. But while we're doing this quick walk, I wanted to show you guys a couple of pickups. And then coming up ahead over here is also a city bus stop where you can see bus number 20, 23, 42E right over here on Kalia Road. It is a gorgeous morning out here. So this street, if you were to take a right where this white vehicle is going, is a dead end. And then from this main street on the right hand side will be the other Tropics restaurant that I had mentioned earlier. There's also the Hilton Pier if you're looking to do any snorkel tours, sunset tours at the Hilton property. To my right hand side over here is the Halekoa Hotel. We've also done a full walkthrough of this property. The Halekoa Hotel is a military hotel, so you must be a military member or related to a military member to rent a room here. They do have a beachfront, beachfront restaurant and bar which is open to the public. If you are a military service member, there is of course discounts for drinks and food if you were to dine here at the Halekoa Hotel. So Kalia Road over here is a bit of the quieter side of Waikiki rather than Kalakawa Avenue, which is the main street. That's the main street that we're going to be walking down. And if you've been watching our Waikiki Now series, the Kalakaua Avenue area is typically where we'll do the Waikiki Now walks. To my right hand side over here is still the Halekoa Hotel. And Halekoa Hotel also has its own luau as well, which you'd have to be a service member in order to purchase tickets. Lots of city buses coming out here on Kalia Road. We'll be doing a video shortly on how to use the city bus here on Oahu. So coming up ahead up here in front of us is the Trump Hotel. This huge building up here and then to the right hand side which we'll show you as we get closer is the army museum and the outrigger reef waikiki beach resort 
So Trump Hotel, as you can see, very, very tall building. If you're interested, I'll leave a link in the description box below. The area to my left-hand side over here, this is all Fort de Russie, which is a park. And then to my left-hand side over here as well is the um, post office on the other side. And then this over here is the parking lot, typically for Holico guests or um, regular parking as well. So as we mentioned, the Outrigger Reef Waikiki Beach Resort is the property that's coming up here. Now, the Outrigger Reef is not the only Outrigger property that's here in Waikiki. There's two main ones. There's the Outrigger Reef Waikiki Beach Resort, and then there's also the Outrigger Waikiki Beach Resort. The Outrigger Reef Waikiki Beach Resort, which is the property we're about to walk by in about 30 seconds or so, is located on Kalia Road, 2169 Kalia Road. The other property, Outrigger Waikiki Beach Resort, is 2335 Kalakaua Avenue, and that's the one that Duke's Restaurant is in. The reason I mention that is because I remember working at those properties previously and I would see guests who would be waiting in one line only to get to the front desk check-in to realize they're at a completely different property. So if you're staying at either of those, make sure to double check the address. If you're using Uber or Lyft, if you were to just type in Outrigger, it will typically route you to whichever one is closer. And if you're coming from the airport, the Outrigger Reef is slightly closer than the Outrigger Waikiki Beach Resort. On the left-hand side over here across the street is the public bus stop. And then these two properties up here, so the one on the right is the Waikiki Shore, which is typically all condos, and the one to the left is the Outrigger Reef Waikiki Beach Resort. We'll pass by that here in a second. So over here to my right is the U.S. Army Museum, just over here. And then coming up ahead is another city bus stop. Just behind the Waikiki shore, there's a few different shops. There are some smaller surf shops. You can also get surf lessons over there. There is um, a really, really delicious small little hole in the wall restaurant called Steak Shack. It's just a grab and go, so nowhere necessarily to sit except the outside seating area, but really delicious. They give really good hearty portions. For a steak plate, you get steak, rice, and salad. So this intersection coming up right here is the intersection of Kalia Road, which is right here in front of us, and then perpendicular is Saratoga Road. So Saratoga Road and then the Trump Hotel is just right over there. If you go a little bit farther down Saratoga Road, again, the post office will be on your left-hand side. There's an Eggs and Things down there as well. Castro is really good for breakfast or for brunch. And then if you were to follow that street all the way up and then hook an immediate right, that would be Kalakaua Avenue. Coming up ahead here, so again, Outrigger Reef on my right-hand side. Just beside the Outrigger Reef is the Hale Kulani Hotel. We've done a walkthrough of that property as well. And then just, just to the left of the Hale Kulani Hotel is the Sheraton Waikiki Hotel, which is just there. And then coming up here is the Embassy Suites Hotel. And then in between those two is the Imperial as well. So the Outrigger Reef over here on the right-hand side, they have an A-frame right out front. The Outrigger Reef has a restaurant right by their pool called Cane Capula Grill. They have live music in the evenings at 6 p.m. And then to my right hand side over here is a Starbucks. 
the street to my left hand side is Beach Walk Avenue. Not to be confused with Waikiki Beach Walk, which is one street over and actually Lure Street. Waikiki Beach Walk is the name of the shopping complex on that side. So Outrigger Reef over here on the right hand side. Over here to my left is Beach Walk Cafe, and then this hotel is the Embassy Suites. The street that's coming up ahead is Lure Street. We're gonna walk right by Lure Street. Just here on the corner is Roy's. And then again to my right hand side over here is the Halikulani Hotel. We're at the intersection of Kalia Road and Lure Street. So just here on the corner is the Imperial. This is also the Denny's. We're gonna cross the street here and we're gonna walk all the way down the street, which is Lure Street, and we'll hook a right, and that way we'll be on Kalakawa Avenue. So Halakalani to my right. We're gonna cross the street right over here. So over here to my left is Roy's. And then just beside Roy's is Big Wave Dave, a surf shop and a cafe. To my right hand side is another ABC store. So again, this street we're walking down is Lure Street. This is also, like I said, known as the Waikiki Beach Walk, which is a shopping complex. So on the left hand side, there's two different floors of shops. On the ground floor, you have Yard House Restaurant and a few other shops and restaurants. On the top floor, there's also Ruth's Chris and a few other shops there as well. So this is that one that I mentioned earlier, Big Wave Dave Surf and Coffee. So a few other spots we've walked through that are already open this early in the morning, but as you can see, a lot of this area over here is still closed. It's still quite early. So we'll cross this way so we can show you a little bit of what that looks like. So just here on my left hand side is Yard House and a few of those shops that I mentioned earlier. And then on the second floor up here is the Ruth's Chris. So this area over here, sometimes they'll have different shows over here at the Waikiki Beach Walk area. They'll sometimes also have a farmer's market. You can check their calendar and I'll leave a link in the description box below. So if they typically will have a Waikiki Beach Walk farmer's market, this grassy area is the area where they would have it. Just to my right hand side over there is the Wyndham. And then we'll just look at this map right over here to show you a little bit where we are. So this entire area is Waikiki and we are on this street here, Lure Street, which is here we're just here so we're gonna walk the area that we walked down from let's see here we started over here at the bridge Ala Moana shopping center was here the yacht harbor was here we walked all the way down here passed by those properties and then this street is Kalia we walked all the way down here and now we're over here in this area so we're gonna walk straight and then we're gonna hook a right this main street is Kalakawa Avenue So just to kind of show you, this art gallery is open at 11. A few other shops here. If you're up super early, just right across the street on my right is a Starbucks coffee. Coming up ahead on the left-hand side is another ABC store. ABC stores are great if you're up early and you maybe want to grab a quick bite, whether it's like a muffin, quick coffee, snacks for the beach, coming up right over here. And then over here is that Starbucks. Those areas, of, or sorry, excuse me, that area where you see the red umbrellas is the P.F. Chang's restaurant. And this entire complex where the Starbucks and the P.F. Chang's, all of this is located in the Tiffany's, is the Royal Hawaiian Shopping Center. And then that street, if you were to go down that street, you would go straight and you would hook a right and the Sheraton Waikiki is down that area as well as the Royal Hawaiian Hotel. 
So this hotel to my left hand side is the Hokulani, not to be confused with the Hale Kulani. So Hokulani. There's also a first Hawaiian bank right over here. And this street that we're on is Lures Street. This intersection coming up ahead is Lures and Kalakaua. So just for some other points of reference, the Louis Vuitton store is right across the street from us. And the duty-free shops are also on that side. They have been shut since COVID and they haven't reopened. It's all boarded up. But if you've been here in the past and know where the DFS is, this is just another point of reference. If we're to go a bit farther down Luer Street, there is a restaurant there, Kogyu Kaku, super delicious. But we're going to be walking this direction on Kalakawa um, with the ocean on our right hand side as we get a little bit closer. So just here to the right hand side is the Royal Hawaiian Shopping Center. So the Royal Hawaiian Shopping Center, in addition to being a shopping center, they also have different cultural shows. Um, and we'll walk by that area where they'll typically have the cultural shows. They also have some classes as well you can sign up for. Some are free of charge, some have a nominal cost. But same thing, I'll leave a link in the description box below. I hope you guys like this kind of video. Just joining us on our walk in the morning, kind of showing you a little bit of what Waikiki looks like. And if you've been seeing quite a few runners lately, the Hapalua Half Marathon is coming up next month in April, so mid-April. By the time you guys are watching this, it'll be the first week of April, but mid-April is the Hapalua Half Marathon. The street coming up ahead over here is the intersection of Kalakawa Avenue and Royal Hawaiian. Just diagonal for me as some points of reference is the Waikiki Shopping Plaza, which is right over here. And then there's the Victoria's Secret, Tanaka of Tokyo and Buho's, which are two different restaurants. And then there's also the Sephora store over here. Just here on the left, kind of where you see that green um, stand, that's typically where they'll have the Waikiki trolley um, kiosk. So if you're picking up the Waikiki trolley and you're told it's at the Waikiki shopping plaza, it's typically in that area. They'll usually have a kiosk um, with an orange umbrella. So you can check that out. If you're interested in seeing what the trolleys look like, we'll have some videos coming up in the next couple months that will show you what you'll see on the different trolley lines. So again, this intersection is gonna be Kalakawa and this one is Royal Hawaiian. If you go towards the right, you'll see the Aloha Landing. That's part of the Sheraton Hotel, another pickup. On the left of that is the Sheraton Waikiki. And then also oceanfront is the Royal Hawaiian Hotel. We've done walkthroughs for both of those. I'll leave a link in the description box below. The Royal Hawaiian Hotel, if you've seen it before, it's the one known for its signature pink color. So super bright pink, really fun. They have a cool little restaurant there called Mai Tais. They also have another restaurant, Azure, and they also have their own luau there as well. Okay, we'll go ahead and cross the street here. Just to give you a little bit more in terms of points of reference, the street we're walking down Kalakaua Avenue is going towards Diamond Head, which is the extinct volcanic crater. You can do a hike on Diamond Head. Um, reservations are required. If you've been to Hawaii in the past, reservations weren't required and it was only a $1 admission. Now reservations are required. It's $5. They have separate fees for parking as well, but you will need a reservation in order to hike Diamond Head Crater. So this area to my right is still the Royal Hawaiian Shopping Center. Some of the stores are still closed because again, it's still pretty early in the morning. And then coming up ahead, this intersection over here is the intersection of Kalakaua and Seaside Avenue. So for Seaside Avenue, that's the Waikiki Business Plaza. There is an H&M clothing store. If you were to go all the way down Seaside Avenue, there's a few other shops there too. There's a Ross store. Um, that's another popular pickup if you're staying in the Waikiki area for activities and tours. There's also a few restaurants down that area and another ABC store. This area, when it's open, is where you can get shaved ice, super delicious. And then this area to my right hand side is the Royal Hawaiian. So that little bit of pink that you see right there is part of the Royal Hawaiian Hotel. And this area is still the Royal Hawaiian Shopping Center. So this little pavilion area will walk that general direction. So whenever they have different shows or cultural demonstrations, typically it'll be here at this main stage area, this grassy area here, there's some seating. And then this right here would be the stage where you'll have some cultural demonstrations or hula shows here. So again, 
right in front of us. The pink building is the Royal Hawaiian Hotel and we are in the Royal Hawaiian Shopping Center Complex. We'll go ahead and head back over to Kalakaua Avenue. So just in front of us is that H&M clothing store. This small entryway across the street is Sky Waikiki. A nice little restaurant and it's a nightclub on the weekends. A bit farther down are a few other shops like the Rip Curl, Foot Locker, California Pizza Kitchen. There's also the Waikiki Beachcomber by Outrigger. That's another property that sometimes gets mixed up for the Outrigger Waikiki Beach Resort and the Outrigger Reef. It is by Outrigger, however, the actual name is Waikiki Beachcomber by Outrigger. So this area to the right, we have a few other stores that are here at the Royal Hawaiian. There's also the Apple Store on the right-hand side. Coming up ahead, there's a cafe on the left, and then there's also a Macy's. So this street here is Kalakaua Avenue, and if there are any festivals, block parties, events, typically this four-lane area right here will be completely shut down for those block parties and events. We actually filmed one of the festivals and I'll leave a link in the description box below for what that looks like. And coming up ahead at the end of April is Spam Jam, which is another block festival themed around spam. And yes, that is exactly what it sounds like. It's an entire festival about spam, but it's fun. Lots of food vendors, arts and crafts, good spot to get local souvenirs. And then just across the street from us is a Macy's that I had mentioned. And there's also Maui Brewing Company. You can enter Maui Brewing Company from the street level or inside of the Beachcomber Hotel. So just here on the right-hand side is the Cheesecake Factory. Cheesecake Factory is, it's, it's closed right now, but it gets really busy for lunch and for dinner. And then across the street from us is the International Marketplace. The International Marketplace has a few different restaurants and stores. From this side of the street, you can see on the third floor is Shorefire. There's also the Tesla store. And there's a few other restaurants on that third floor. It's called the Grand Lanai area. On the ground level, but on the opposite side on Kohio Avenue, there's also a small little food hall as well. So the hotel property coming up on the right is the Outrigger Waikiki Beach Resort. This is the hotel that Duke's Waikiki Restaurant is in. So to the right, we have a few surf shops, the Honolulu Coffee, excuse me, Honolulu Cookie Company, and the Outrigger Waikiki Beach Resort. This is also where Blue Note Hawaii is in. They'll have different comedy shows, musicians, artists, and so forth. Across the street from us, another ABC store. And then these two towers coming up ahead are the Hyatt Regency Hotel. To my right is the Moana Surfrider. Same thing for those two properties. We have also done walkthroughs. If you want to see what those properties look like, I'll leave links in the description box below. So the Moana Surfrider Hotel on the right hand side over here is, uh, also has a coffee shop. And then if you were to go inside the Outrigger, excuse me, inside of the Moana Surfrider. They also have their own spa, and then they also have a couple different restaurants in there. Some that do afternoon tea, some that do full dinner. The Beach Bar is their casual dining restaurant, and then Beach House is their more fine dining restaurant. They also have live music in the evenings. So just here on the right-hand side, really nice property. And again, coffee shop is also inside here as well. And just diagonal from us, as I mentioned, those two twin towers is the Hyatt Regency Hotel. And there's also, as a point of reference, an Urban Outfitters on the ground level. The intersection that we're coming to ahead here is Kalakau Avenue, which is this main street, and Kailani, which is perpendicular to it. Another good point of reference coming up ahead is going to be the police station on the right and the Duke statue. 
The Duke statue is another popular pickup for tours and activities, but it's not to be confused with the Duke restaurant, which is inside of the Outrigger Waikiki Beach Resort. So alongside here, the Hyatt Regency, they have lots of different shops along this area, and then coming up ahead, we'll be able to show you Beachside. <laughs> the area that we started in was the Hilton Village and now as we're going through, we're kind of in the center. We're going to walk all the way up to the Honolulu Zoo, which is on Kapahulu Avenue. The Hyatt Regency is another popular hotel as well for activities and tours pickups. They have two different pickup locations, one on the back entrance of Koa Avenue by a green awning and there's one their front entrance of the hotel, which is on Ulu New Street. We're getting along the side here, so good morning. To the right hand side is a gorgeous view. <laughs> There's also the Dive Oahu shop over here to the right for different rentals. And this main street that we're on is still Kalakaua Avenue. Super gorgeous morning. At the time of this filming, it is the end of March. So again, to the right-hand side, those two towers, the Hyatt Regency Hotel. And then this area here is the trolley stop. So typically, whenever people have pickups at the Duke statue, they'll typically be here at this trolley stop. And then to my right-hand side over here is the Duke statue over here. Right across the street from us is the Billabong on the ground floor. And there is a luxury hotel that bird just almost took us out. <laughs> the birds here in Waikiki have no fear. <laughs> that one was, I could almost feel the feathers flutter in front of my eyes. <laughs> they have no fear. And don't feed them. If you're staying here in Waikiki, do not feed the birds. You'll think you're feeding one bird and you'll end up feeding a thousand. It's a terrible idea. Do not recommend. On the right hand side, or sorry, excuse me, on the left hand side over here is the Beaky Station. These turquoise bikes that you see, you can rent them. You can take them off of these stands and then you'll rent them for a set amount of time, whether it's 30 minutes or an hour, and then you can take them from one station and move them to another station. So the hotel to my left hand side is Espacio. We haven't been into this property, but from what I understand, each floor is its own suite. So there's, I believe it's 10 floors all together. On the left hand side across the street is another ABC store. And there's also the Waikiki Circle Hotel here and the eggs and things on the ground floor. For point of reference, we're at Lifeguard Station 2C, 2C for Charlie. And this area over here to the right is the Hula Mound. Oftentimes you'll see Hula shows there as well. And I'll leave a link in the description box below for a full calendar and those are free shows. <laughs> to my left hand side over here is the McDonald's. And then this hotel that you see across the street is the Alohilani Resort. On the ground level, there is a restaurant called Momosan, and they also have a few other um, restaurants inside there's the Morimoto Asia and then there's also Swell Bar which is part of the pool and all three of those restaurants just like most restaurants here in Waikiki you don't have to be a hotel guest to go to Swell is really nice great for cocktails or appetizers Momosan doesn't take reservations but really good for ramen so around this corner here you'll see another ABC store and then coming up ahead is the restaurant Cheeseburger there's also a haagen on this ground level another surf shop Coming up on the left-hand side over here is also the St. Augustine Church. Oh, and this area to my right is another good area that has this break wall. You'll often see families over here because, because of the break wall, it's not gonna have that current or that, um, it'll be a lot more calmer for kids. 
Over here we have a little coffee shop. And then to my left, that cheeseburger in paradise over here. On the ground level, we also have a couple souvenir stores. And then over here on the left as well is OMG, which is Oahu Mexican Grill. Really good spot for lunch. And then over here, that um, green A-frame building over here is St. Augustine Catholic Church. Beside the OMG store is another ABC store. That's a really good travel tip as well for Waikiki in general. If you forgot something, whether it's toiletries or clothing, you can probably grab it here at the ABC stores. And there's different ABC stores, different sizes. Some of the smaller ones only have a few grab and go items. Some of the larger ones have full delis inside. This property over here coming up right here is the Waikiki Beach Marriott Resort. I'll include a link below for a full walkthrough we've done of this property. <coughs> The Waikiki Beach, excuse me, the Waikiki Beach Marriott has a few different restaurants there. There's Sansei, there's Arancino's, Kuhio Beach Grill, and they also have two Starbucks here. So one over here and then one on the very back of the property. And then the street coming up on the far end is the street Kapahulu Avenue. So the intersection of Kalakaua and Kapahulu Avenue, We're almost to the very end of our walk. I hope you guys find this video really helpful in terms of seeing how walkable Waikiki is. A lot of the hotels are all in the same area. So this property coming up here on the left is the Twin Fin. It was formerly known as the Aston Waikiki Beach Resort, but in November of 2022, um, it was changed to the Twin Fin. So the Twin Fin is also another popular hotel for tour and activity pickups. And then this street right here coming up is the intersection of Kalakawa Avenue and Pawakalani. If you do have a hotel pickup, excuse me, if you have an activity or tour pickup at this hotel, um, typically it'll be right there on the side. As we pass by it, we'll point out. So if we look down Pawakalani Avenue, you'll see a few different buses over there picking up for other tours and activities. See two big buses over there. On that side of the street is Pawakalani Avenue. So typically right over here for early morning pickups. Pearl Harbor tours, island tours, luau's, dinner cruises in the evening and so forth. There's also an Avis and a budget here. You'll go up that escalator that's inside the property. It'll be on the second floor. However, they are only open from 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. And then on the left-hand side over here is a few other restaurants. This area to my right, another set of Beaky stations. You can also download the app. So what's good about having the app is that you can see how many stations and how many bikes are available. To my left-hand side is yet another ABC store. And there's also a restaurant here called Lulu's, really good for brunch. This street coming up ahead over here is Kapuhlu Avenue. And then just diagonal from us is the Honolulu Zoo. If we were to keep walking down this main road all the way down, it's the Waikiki Aquarium. And again here, we're at the Honolulu Zoo. Okay. We are just at the end of our Waikiki narrated tour. I hope this helped you guys see where everything is here in Waikiki and the street and routes that we walked out. I'll leave in the link, I'll leave in the description box below. I hope this helped you guys and we'll add more to our narrated walking tour. Next time we'll do a walking tour of Kuhio Avenue. But for now, this is our Waikiki end-to-end -end morning walk. Until the next one, guys.